Did you know about the electric eels? Which can emit electric shocks up to 850 volts? They are scientifically known as Electrophorus electricus and are native to the freshwater rivers and streams of South America, particularly the Amazon and Orinoco basins. Electric eels have an elongated body shape, resembling a snake rather than a typical eel. They can grow quite large, reaching lengths of up to 8 feet, 2.5 meters, and weighing around 44 pounds, 20 kilograms. They have a dark gray or brownish coloration on their upper body, while their underside is a lighter yellowish color. What can they do with their electric ability? Electric eels are unique among aquatic creatures due to their ability to generate electric shocks. They possess specialized organs called electrocytes that make up about 80s of their body, particularly in their tails. These electrocytes can produce electric charges used for communication, navigation, and hunting prey. When do they emit electric shocks? When an electric eel hunts or feels threatened, it discharges strong electric shocks that can reach up to 850 volts in intensity. This is significantly higher than the voltage in a standard power outlet. These electric shocks are used to stun or incapacitate prey, as well as to defend against potential predators. What do they eat? Electric eels primarily feed on fish, stunning them with their electric shocks before consuming them. They are capable of detecting the electric fields produced by other living organisms, enabling them to locate prey even in dark or murky water. Once the prey is immobilized, the electric eel will consume it. Can electric eels be dangerous to humans? Electric eels can be dangerous to humans, especially if a person encounters them in their natural habitat or during fishing activities. While electric eels generally prefer to avoid confrontation, they may discharge electric shocks if they feel threatened. These shocks can cause intense pain, muscle contractions, and can potentially lead to drowning or cardiac arrest if the shock is severe enough. However, it's worth noting that fatal encounters with electric eels are relatively rare, and most injuries occur when people handle or disturb the eels.